Welcome to another episode of uh, Jay Leno's Garage. This is a car I have fantasized about since I was a kid. It's a Ford Falcon, a 63 and a half, the Falcon Sprint. You know, when I was 16 years old, I worked at a place called Wilmington Ford in Wilmington, Massachusetts, and I was the lot boy. That was my job, you know, take all the hubcaps off. It was always a place that had acres of cars, and every morning you have to put on 60 set of hubcaps, and every night you have to take them off again because uh, kids would steal them. And cars would come and go, and of course, in 1966, the Mustang was the hot car. But my favorite was always this one here, the Falcon Sprint, the Falcon with the 260 four-speed in it. Uh, this car has been, I would say, heavily modified, but it looks pretty stock. All those guys that drive the Mustangs, you're really driving a Falcon. This is the prototype for the Mustang. This is basically what became uh, the Mustang. But I always liked this body style. This is my favorite, 63 and a half. You know, Lee Iacocca had just taken over Ford. He'd started the whole total performance program. And prior to this, the Falcon was just a little economy car with a choice of two six-cylinder engines. I think one was the 140 or the 144, and the other was the big 170 cubic inch six. Ooh. ooh. And then Ford came out with these uh, thin wall small blocks, the 260 and the 289. And it's one of my favorite all-time engines. A lot of guys like the 327 Chevy. It's a close match. This is one of my favorites. And I drove one of these when I was a kid, and I just thought it was the greatest car in the world. And over the years, through the various Lamborghinis and all the fancy cars I have, in the back of my mind, <laughs> I always wanted a Falcon Sprint. I don't know, there's just something about it. And there's one of my favorite websites. It's called Bring a Trailer. It's bringatrailer.com. And they sell cars. It's people selling cars, but people selling interesting cars. There's not a lot of, well, maybe there's a Pinto or something on there occasionally. But it's usually enthusiasts selling to other enthusiasts. And I must say, this is the first car I ever bought, which is exactly the way I wanted it. I didn't have to change this at all. I, uh, Toby, the guy I got it from, he's been down here and we've become friends. Uh, he built this car exactly the way I would have built it. And we'll go through the car in uh, just about a minute or two. This was what they called the Monte Carlo rally car. You know, Ford went to Monte Carlo with these Falcons. And though this was considered a small car here in America, in uh, Europe it was a mid-size or even full-size car compared to some of the Fiats and stuff. And these, these did quite well with the rallying. They were fast, they were powerful, and they were a good-looking car. As I said, this is my favorite year, the 63 and a half. The 64 wedge style, not so much. In fact, when I got my garage, I even had a poster uh, that I cut out of a magazine. We painted it and put it on the wall. Come here, I'll show it to you. Here's the giant poster that I remember from 1963. It's even the color of the car I wanted. That's why I bought that one, the white with the red interior that I saw on uh, Bring a Trailer. I was like, this. special rally type would like, a would like steering wheel. That's kind of funny. Uh, even has a misspelling, even the ad had a misspelling, for safety. But you see it had a tack, there's your V8, there's your four-speed, there's your wood-like steering wheel. Ah, what's better than that? You know, I, I, I've had this ad sitting in my drawer for like 50 years, and I finally found the car on bringatrailer.com. Come on, let's go back to the car. Okay, that's a uh, 1965 289 block taken out to 302 cubic inches. Nice installation. I see the battery's been moved to the trunk for a little lighter weight. It puts out about 360 horsepower. If you've been to this website before, you know I always talk about cars having the Monte Carlo bar. Well, this is the original Monte Carlo bar. This is, what, this is where the term came from for these cars right here. See, it braces the body, makes it a little stronger keeps it from flexing. Do you mean there's nothing like engine bays from the, uh, from the 60s? You know, in the hood of a modern car, there's just too much in there. This has got all kinds of room to work. Although at the time it seemed incredibly complicated, boy, it doesn't seem that way at all now. Let's go to the interior of the car, I'll show you inside. As I said, I haven't really done anything to this car so far except replace the tires, because Toby built it exactly the way I would build it. He replaced the wood-like steering wheel with an actual wood steering wheel. And of course, it's got a five-speed gearbox in it. Uh, stock interior, which is fine. This is what I like. I like cars that look stock, just upgraded a little bit. Let's take a look in the trunk. 
Even got the 1963 uh, Monte Carlo rally sticker in the window there. See, battery in the trunk, and uh, your gas filler is in the trunk as well. Um, everything else is pretty stock. Come on, let's take it for a ride. Here's some interesting trivia about the Falcon name. Although the Falcon didn't come out until 1960, back in 1935, Edsel came up with the name Falcon for a new line of cars. He debated the name for a while and eventually chose the name Mercury. And then in 1960, two car companies both came up with the name Falcon again, Ford and Chrysler. In fact, Ford registered the name Falcon 20 minutes before Chrysler did. They went down to the, I think it was the Automobile Manufacturing Association, registered the name, then Chrysler went down to register the name and said, sorry, Ford beat you to it. So, a little bit of useless trivia. As I said, I always like this rounded style more than the uh, wedge shape. So a lot of guys like the wedge shape, so it's, I don't know, whatever you like, I guess. I grew up in that whole Ford Total Performance era with the 427s and the 427 camera motors and the big stock cars. It was a great time. It was a time when stock cars were actually that, stock cars that were just heavily modified. You know, as I said, you beefed up the suspension, you stiffened the frame, you put the battery in the trunk, add a couple of four barrel carburetors, and you're ready to go racing. There have been a lot of custom wheels built in the last 50 years, but eh, not many are still as good looking as these. I don't know whether it's nostalgia or what it is, but I still think this is one of the best looking mag wheels ever. I love these 289 small blocks. Like the uh, 265 and 283 Chevys, Millions of pieces of speed equipment available for them. They're easy to tune. You get a lot of horsepower out of them. And they're dead reliable. This thing just makes me smile. I love this thing. You know, there's a Falcon Club. No matter what kind of car you're into, there's a club for it. The Falcon registry is really great. There's a lot of guys in it, uh, and you know, they're not expensive cars. I mean, relatively speaking. They're as much fun as anything, and all kinds of equipment, everything's available for them. You know, a Ford, you fix it with a hammer. Now here's something the original car never had, fifth gear. As you can see, pretty simple dashboard. I love the speedometer, it only goes to 100. That's uh, pretty easy to bury. Auxiliary gauges, that is not the original uh, tack, but it is period. Gas gauge, temperature gauge. I love this metal glove box. Probably save about 10 pounds getting rid of that, but I just like having it because it's period. It's got the original headliner in it. Dome light, that was an option. You know, back in the 60s, everything was optional. Mirror, heater, radio, you paid for everything. Not like today where cars come standard with air conditioning. I suppose I should relocate the horn to the center here. And I love a wood steering wheel. Even a fake wood steering wheel. This is always one of the prettiest to me. As I said, you know, if you're interested in a Falcon and you want to get one of these, join the Falcon Club. And there's a dozen. This, God, they're all over the country. The Falcon Registry, the Falcon Club, even the Ford Club. And you meet real enthusiasts who love these things and want to preserve them and want to pass them on to the next generation of guys. I can't believe I waited uh, almost 50 years to get this, but uh, I love it. You know, it's a lot of fun. Just brings back a lot of memories. Just put new tires on this thing. 
and uh, this will be the first burnout. The old girl still got it. Once again, I want to thank Bring a Trailer for uh, putting this car up there. And Toby, thanks for doing a great job building it. I'm, the, I'm not giving Toby's last name because he probably doesn't want it on the website. But uh, as I said, check out bringatrailer.com. Your dream car might be on there too. So uh, I'm going to keep dreaming. See you guys next week. Thank <laughs> you.